Welcome to a technical demonstration showing how to create a mirrored part that has its own file including its own part properties and BOM but is linked to a single originating file. In other words, how to create one file to edit which will update a non-mirrored part and a mirrored part at the same time. In order to create this capability you, it's, you had to start off by building a new type of part which is a structured part. And currently, most of the default is our innovative part design that we use for most of our fast and intuitive ways of building geometry. However, a structured part gives you a little bit more flexibility and capabilities in this regard. So selecting structured part at the bottom right hand side of your IronCAD window, you'll see that it's now defaulting to structured part and when you drag and drop a feature out, it will create a structured part in the scene. Once we have our part, let's add some geometry on it that's kind of more complex. For example, we'll just go ahead and add a blend here to our outside. And let's go ahead and add a shell to our part as well. And just give it a thickness. Let's make it a little bit bigger so that we can see our geometry a little bit better. And we'll just continue to add some features to make this have a little few more geometry elements than just a basic part. Let's go ahead and add a shell to the inside face there. We'll just select all these faces, blend those. And let's create something that represents our mirror so we can tell that this part is actually mirrored. Let's make this a little bit smaller. Just a feature to denote our mirror. Now in structured parts, you can see everything is ordered in a structured manner. We also have what we call bodies in structured part. So you can actually have multiple bodies in, in an individual structured part. For example, we're actually going to create a mirror and we're going to mirror the actual body geometry. So we click on the mirrored feature, select our part, and in our case we need to first select the mirrored plane. We'll select this top face to denote our mirror direction. You can also use any datum plane that you create or originating planes, offset faces that you want to use as your mirror location. In this case, we'll just make it simple and use our, our face here. And instead of indiv individually mirroring the features, we're going to actually mirror the entire body. So we select our selected body option and select the geometry. And notice it selects all the features including the shell, the blends, anything that's attached to that geometry is going to be mirrored and we'll go ahead and hit OK. And you can see now that we have both features residing in the same part. If we make one modification to the bottom part, for example, we'll just select the outer body and make it a little bit longer, you'll see the top part is actually automatically modified because it's mirroring the representation of this body geometry. But in this file, this is going to be our non-mirrored part, so let's just go ahead and name this guy non-mirrored. And we can also, also put some part properties on this part. Let's say this is going to be one, two, three, whatever. And we're going to say this is the non mirrored part. And in this case, we don't want to see this mirrored geometry. So the nice thing about bodies, you have some flexibility as well to hide this geometry. So you never see this. When it gets inserted into another file as a link, you'll never actually see that geometry appear, just the main geometry you see down here. Now let's go ahead and save this file so we can go move on to our next step. So we're going to call this one as non-mirrored and save it. Now the key is we want to get this body, the mirrored geometry, as a, a completely separate file that we can use independently of the non-mirrored geometry. To do that, you just simply right click on any body element and you can actually associate it as a separate file. So we'll go ahead and say, select our option and we're going to call this the mirrored, mirrored part and save that out. And what that creates for us, if we go to our open command and open up our mirrored part, as you'll see a new file, which is the mirror geometry present, and notice it has a different part name than what we originally saved the part as, and it only has one feature here. This file is not used as the editing file. You're always going to edit the originating file, and this one will always be updated. So in this case, we can give it whatever information that we want here. For example, this is the mirrored, mirrored part or whatever name you want to reference it as. Notice its part properties are not linked to the other geometry as well, so we can call this whatever we want. Again, this is the mirrored part. So we need to make sure that this is di manufactured different than our non-mirrored part geometry. Now you can't do any real editing here. You can add additional geometry to it if you wish, or you can change certain things like smart paints to denote that this is different than your other part. For example, just give it a different color inside of here. So if we go back to our originating file, which is the non-mirrored part, Again, if we want to make changes to this, we can change the size of the feature. Make it a little bit bigger if we want. Or if we want to add additional features to it, for example, maybe we want to add a hole here. We can add a hole to our geometry, make it a bit smaller. 
inside of here. Now the one key thing you have to understand about structure part is everything is ordered. So notice our mirror is sitting up here. It doesn't account for that feature that we just added to the geometry. If you always want to include everything that gets added to this part to be part of the mirrored geometry, you always have to make sure that that it gets applied last so that it always will update the mirrored body. So for example, if we now toggle back to our mirrored part, notice it'll tell you the geometry has changed. Do you want to update this geometry at this time? We'll go ahead and click yes. You'll notice the hole gets added, the, the size of the geometry has modified. And again, these are now two separate files. So for example, if we go and create a new scene, and we drag a feature out here. And if we want to insert these geometries into another file, notice they always rem be remembered as individual files. So we can go insert part assembly. We can link it into the file. We can bring in our non-mirrored geometry. And we can move it around here. So we just move it up here. You can see this is our non-mirrored case. It gets the non-mirrored uh, file name. It gets all the properties that's associated with that. If we do the file insert with the mirrored file, even into the same file, we'll do the mirrored part this time. Notice both files exist in the same scene, but they are, again, different parts. Different information. They will call out different information on the bill of material and the drawing. Everything is what you would expect. They would be no denoted as different manu manufacturable parts. However, they are always linked or originating to the original body file. For example, even if I modify it here or in that originating files, it's going to tell you, hey, this guy needs to be updated. Do you want to make those changes?